We'll see how well Zave can handle themselves, because there's a lot going on with this matchup. I mean, it's in the name. Beast quite literally a, a different breed, but on Pokemon Stadium 2, Joker has every tool he needs to not only smother a player, uh, smother any character and hit, uh, hit with the consistent lows, but also utilize a lot of the edge trapping that Joker is so good at. But you went from 0 to 83 and you're also your stock is gone. So that Arsene popped and you died for it. All right, let's see him do it again. <laughs> All right. Not a JV4, <laughs> unfortunately, but it's starting off very similar. Mixing up the DI out of Squirtle down are really important. Otherwise, you catch yourself in those combos that just go from 0 to 80. Squirtle actually, I think, is a fantastic pick to hold in this matchup because of his ability to edge guard really well and maintain that damage. I have no slouch either, though. See how Beast manages now that uh, he's out. Trying to do something with these specials, but no one home. Looking to keep pesting away with this Ivysaur now. Can he take a stock with each Pokemon individually? See, oh, the Charizard comes out first this time. Looking to add a little bit more ground speed to this game plan. Rush down Zave before they can start getting comfortable with their gunplay. That fly was wild, but it did call out the jump from platform that Zave pulled out. And jump out of shield is such a common option that oh, oftentimes overshooting vertically is so worth it. And Flinther at the ledge as well. I think very smart, however, not while Arsene is still charging. Grappling hook, I think, one of the defining traits of Joker. And one that actually comes in much really well against Trainer. I like that Dave has settled down a little bit, but you can only settle on so much bounce from one. Again, a very solid out of shield option with that Charizard uh, up smash being so quick and so lethal that your spacing has to be on point with some of these back airs as it was right there calling out the jump from ledge. And now you're back on. Back on Squirtle is a rough one. You can see that you can scare him off with this big blue man. Oh, I like the Nair as a check just to try to force save for the ledge. Very smart. I gotta say, we guessed up the Charizard right and proper, but Squirtle really coming to shine for this game. Just from a raw matchup sense, right? Like Squirtle does everything that I, uh, that Joker really doesn't like to deal with. Short character, combo food, and almost getting your stock robbed with Charizard. Sometimes it comes out and just when it needs to. Oh, you're gone. Yeah, uh, no, yeah. beast swinging Sorry at a disadvantage. That one, That's rough for you. <laughs> It's the play off the platform, though, right? Like, Beast is in his trajectory of descent. We're seeing the play. We're seeing him go down. And he's operating off of this platform so <laughs> That is so well spaced, too. Like, Beast is just pressing the button, and it's like, yeah, no, this is going to hit. Yeah, as soon as he lands on this plat... Oh, yeah, let, me, let me draw it right. As soon as he lands on this plat... Beast has a million options to go with. He can drop through, he can jump off, he can jump in. There's a million ways to go. He can run off as well. But this runoff back air is definitely the most safe in a position where Zave got a hit. And every player that gets a hit wants to get more. Ooh, game two bringing us a change of character and a change of stage. Small Battlefield and Cloud are the options for Zave and looking to be ill-advised ones as we see an immediate stock loss once again. Not exactly ideal way to start yet uh, once more, but, you know, Zave like was playing real good at the latter half of that game one. Maybe the uh, the cloud consistency option, instead of trying to re uh, rely on Arsene to bring it back, you're going to be uh, always dealing with it. But, I mean, Squirt Beast is taking 22 throughout this point. This is getting worse for wear by the minute. I feel like this is also another ill-fated matchup because there's a lot of opportunities for Cloud to just sort of lose stock. Like, even without counting cheese. And there is plenty of it that Beast can deliver with Trainer. Like, you just have really solid edge guarding tools across all three Pokemon. There's a lot of opportunity for Beast to just find one good interaction. And regardless of the percent that's around Cloud, Zay could just be gone. He's on a Blade Beam here as a, uh, as a ledge pressure. I like the attempt at a trump, but this could spell doom. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I invite you to the knowledge that A, Charizard can angle his forward smash, and B, angled down forward smash can two frame. 
Oh, there's your fun fact for the block, folks. If you didn't know, now you know. Yeah, Charizard's wild. For no reason. Remember this when this character was bad? Like, awful? And then they said, what if he wasn't? Yeah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> but so this Squirtle is putting in a ton of work. Forcing a, uh, forcing a burn to limit out from Zave. There's only so much walling out with back air can do for you at this point. As Beast, while a stop down, isn't exactly worried about how health, given how healthy Zave is looking. You know, I'm trying to see Beast play like this the whole tournament through because this is a very dangerous young man. The way that this Squirtle is forcing Cloud of all characters off of the base platform to the ledge constantly and forced to use resources early with the threat of just losing a stock early is ridiculous. And there's the forward air to end it out almost. And there's the back air that puts it to sleep. It's little things, little positionings, different spacings that is forcing Zave into overshoots that he's not even expecting to be an overshoot. Positioning onto the platform really entices Zave to try and chase, use that limit, get your airspeed going. And the second time, that little jump out, the little hop. It's like, hey, use the limit early. Maybe you'll hit me. Just kidding, you're facing a Charizard tail to blow you up. That's how it goes, man. Although, it, I really do want to emphasize it was a good showing from Beast because it wasn't just the typical affair right, of, of course. Charizard's silliness. And given how this block has been so far, I was expecting the silly. Yeah, I, but I, no, that was that's for a next good ass play right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm really admiring Beast's growth as a player because it feels like, and to be honest, since he got picked up from, Metaf uh, from Metify as a coach, shout out to Metify, who is also here sponsoring the event, but they have grown as a player into a little bit more focused with their offense. Instead of just being all forward all the time, they're learning how to not only pressure an opponent, but also deconstruct